Hey guys, and welcome back to another Road to Rank 1 in 1v1. It's been a, quite a while since I recorded one of these videos, but I did mention in my last episode that I've been playing these games live on my Twitch channel. If you haven't checked it out before, it is twitch.tv slash leftmirror underscore RL. So you'll see that there's quite a jump in MMR since the last time I recorded a video for YouTube, but we're at 1476 at the moment, which is top 32 in the world. And so hopefully in this video, we can get up to the top 25, if not... Uh, move up just a little bit more on the leaderboard and get a couple wins under our belt. But yeah, if you do want to see the constant progress on my Twitch channel, feel free to click on the link in the description. Let's get right into the games and see how we do. Alright, we got H. Rail. He's Season 7 Grand Champion. I've seen this guy before, I believe. Possibly not in 1v1, though. We got 50 so far. Might jump on this early. If he touches it like that, it gives me the ball. So I'm letting him flick it out to me. And then I'll take the ball. So he does. It's fine. That's also fine. He kind of threw the ball a little bit too heavy. He's not going to take the boost. Now he's low. Might be open, actually. So that's a premature shot. Those kind of shots like only work if they're really slow to recover. And, uh, I really should just take my time to control the ball. See there, I can see that he's only got one option, so I'm just going to wait on it. Oh, that's a good shot. Could be off, though. He's going to shoot, though. So there, he had boost boost advantage. He knew it, so he just went. I should have went a little bit higher on the 50-50 to block the shot on target. He'll probably have ball here. Shot it early. I better bring it in early here. He's doing the same challenge again. So he went. All I have to do is just touch it. Yeah, it's a decent pop, but he actually backed off. Take the boost again. So now that I know he challenges like that, I can just I can just go for like this and shoot the net. Um, if he backs up again, he'll probably get outplayed just because he's so close to the ball. A little extra boost just to get the right position on the on the B ball there. So I can tell he's trying to position close. Just shoot that far side. Should be in. Nice. So he tried to position on the ball, but I don't need that boost in mid because I've already got 60. Uh, once he's positioned like that, all I need to do is just get a good shot on target. Just put it to the far left side. Might get the back corner, just fine. I'm just gonna fake the boost. Hit this pretty hard. Oh no, I blocked it by accident. That's all right though. I'll land a little bit sideways, make him panic. All I gotta do is get a decent shot on target. He's gonna use all of his boost. Now he's very low. So pop it over him. I know he's very low. There it is. So use the fact that he's low to understand that he's going to go for that mid boost. I just wait for the ball to bounce off that corner. Comes around him a little bit too fast. And uh, him turning around on that ball is going to make him be out of position. Here I'll bump him out of the way. Should work. He might go for the boost. Maybe not. Oh! No. He's still low though. So that attack is okay because he's pretty low boost. Which means I can actually stay relevant on the ball. There we go. Make sure I grab this boost. He doesn't have a position on the ball to shoot right now. And it should be open. Hope that's fast enough. If not, I can just take the boost again. Bring it back a bit. He might go for that mid boost. Or stay pressure on the ball here. This may get a good shot, so he has to save it. Just keep putting pressure. And there we go. That's that That's that backflip I was talking about. If he does it again, I'll just pop it over him. Because the second he starts backing up and shows that he's slowing down, uh, I can just pop it over him. In that situation too, he can definitely be seen a little bit better by my point of view. So I know when to go. That touch is okay. It's not really a big deal. It doesn't do anything for me. Or do anything for him. That's really bad. Hey. Okay. 
That is probably the worst play I've ever made, and I don't know why that went in. <laughs> he really should have had a counterattack there. He could have easily brought it back. He went really far wide on that one, so just block it high. I'm gonna fake this. There we go. Just force him out. See this one pad in mid here. A little bit greedy to go for that one, but I can see that he's taking his time with his shots. Gives me a lot of space to work with. There we go. We're up 6-1. Not too bad. Can we get the Brazil though? So this guy is still 1300. That's a pretty high high level opponent for 1v1. Just that we're we're now at the pinnacle of here he goes. He's gonna do the same thing again. He he realized he shouldn't this time. Uh, I probably couldn't have put could have put it around him. Wait for him to clear it across here. There it is. Just kind of bait him to think that I'm staying with it. That's bad. So that extra turn was not worth it. Uh, I tried to bait him out. He didn't go. And at that point, I need to cut my losses and move back. If I had if I had more boosts to work with at the start, I could have positioned a little bit better. But otherwise, it was not a great play there. That early jump gives me better possession on the wall. I'm going to go for the boost, which is fine. I'm not going to go for this because he has a quick touch. There we go. I could tell that I was going to be available on that ball. Let's see if he goes for this. Should we have to kill him? Turn around get a quick shot here. There's the goal. No Brazil though. 7-2. Obviously this game is pretty much over, but we'll finish it out here. See if he can get uh, another outplay on me. Now oh, we get a kickoff goal. Huh. <clears throat> hey, Danny, cut that one. Cut that one. Uh, just cut the video. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is this is pretty much over. Let's see what happens at the end of this game. What uh, how many points we get? Now that we're at like the top thirty, we're gonna be getting like two points a game. So. This is why I've been doing more of my matches on Twitch. Just because uh, it's going to take forever to do all the, the videos to get rank 1. It's a decent save. He's trying to reposition, but it's taking him forever to get around the ball. So I just can push on that one. But there we go. We got we to gotta win for the first game of the video. Let's see how many points we got. Four. It's actually not bad. I'm surprised. I thought we were going to get like two. Oh, we actually got... We actually got uh, one of those decimal things where it's actually a little bit higher. So we're actually rank 30 on the dot now, which is pretty good. Uh, just just above full-time 1v1 LMAO, so not bad. We got Night Owl. 14-16, pretty good player. I don't know who he is. Probably someone else with the name Night Owl, so we'll see if this goes well at all. Goes well at all but... To be alright, I'm just going to keep staying on it here. There we go. I was threatening the bump just to make him push back a little bit. And then I got the pop over him. Good 50-50. That was a really good solid touch there. So he went uh, right, I went left. Ended up stabilizing with me. So I gotta keep that in mind for next time. He might change it up though. He did change it up a little bit. I should get this boost though before anything happens. All right, let's stay with this ball here. It's a flick. Make him have to awkwardly save it. Gives me space on the ball here. So stay with the ball. Just gonna keep being annoying here. Could be a goal. He missed the ball, the the shot though. I'm gonna fake with the wall here so he doesn't dome me. There, I was a little bit low boost, and he could have threatened a bump on me, so I didn't want to. I don't want to sit too stationary on the backboard there. Oof. It's pretty bad of me to touch like that. That could be a goal too. He missed! Oh, interesting. Close. Good 50-50. Touch off the side, get the boost. Might have the ball here again, but it's pretty low. 
There we go. He's very low now. I should be able to just shoot this if I get the right angle on this. There it is. That was a pretty good bounce. If it bounced a little bit upwards off the wall, it would have been way worse for me, but... Ended up coming back in mid. Close enough for me to score. If this guy has a Night Owl, like he says, it's uh, currently... Uh, it's currently 3.20 p.m., so... That's probably the, the last... That's like the... <laughs> the least expected time for someone who's a night owl to be on. 50-50. Alright, so he's very low. I'm not going to go for the, the boost or the ball there. Interesting. Dead. If I got the flick on target, it would have been perfect, but unfortunately not. It's a good pop. Probably can shoot this probably a goal yeah it's a good pop i thought i got i got above the ball in time but not quite the attack i needed i should have attacked a little bit earlier when he popped off the wall there he ran out of his flip the second he runs out of his flip there i can attack that a lot more confidently it's a good save he's gonna get the boost Let's see what he does here i always like to not jump too high on those just in case he uh Oh, close on the shot. Is this Forky? It was a very Forky play. Get the boost off him here. If I can. Took it off him. It's pretty low on the boost. It's a good flick. I should have attacked that a lot earlier once again. It really helps if I know who this is. Because I like to play against certain play styles. Makes it way worse when you don't know who you're playing against. Oh, close. Might get the boost off me here. To be alright. All right, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna touch this again. I'm gonna try to catch it or something. It's fine. What did I just do that for? So that was a really, really dumb play. Like, in that situation, he's just going to keep pressuring. I think this is Forky, by the way. I'm not sure, though. Could be wrong. It's fine. Let's see the boost. He'll run off. Let's get an indirect play here. Go off to the side. Just shoot it on target. You got a really good pinch out, actually. That's going to work out really well for him. He did miss the goal, though. This guy's very strange. Not quite sure what to expect of this guy. Very low. He might challenge here. It's going to be really bad for me. I'm going to leave the ball. I need boost. There we go. It's a good save. Hit this early off the wall. If he goes for that boost, he's done for. Okay, he's really baiting me pretty well here. There we go. He gave me a free goal. This definitely feels like Forky. I don't know why. Just the way he's playing. So I'm going to assume it's Forky unless I'm wrong. But that should do well enough for me at least to play against that kind of style. So we're right. He's very low boost now. So he's trying to bait me into leave the ball. Should be right. Gotta get 50. If I can turn this in. Hit a bit too heavy though. There we go. He tried to wait for my shot. I just ended up wait delaying on it. See if he gets a clear. It's actually really hard to stay above that part of the goal. When you come off the ceiling of that, it always pops you off. Should pretty much be game here. There we go. Not too bad. So we got seven points on that one. It's uh, 1488 now. Pretty good. Should move us up into like the top 25, I think. I don't, I don't remember the points quite exactly, but let's check it out again. Still isn't updated. I'm still, it still says 1476 here, but 
We are now at 28. That's not bad. Halfway from 30 to 25. It's not too close. It's not too bad. We're actually two points away. That's really close. Right, we got it. We got Night Owl again. He's now 1409. We're at 1488. See if we can get another win. That last game was a little bit too close for comfort, but hopefully we can get a, another W. Probably touched it here. I'm okay with this. He's wasting all his boost while I don't have to do too much. He got the boost off that play, which is pretty good of him. But I still get the ball. That's all I really care about, just keeping ball position. Pop him off. Pop it over him. He's playing these situations pretty well. That, that one right there, though, I was just waiting for him to throw the ball a little bit too far away. He's trying to bait me into throwing the ball away, but I don't really like to do that in ones. And uh, he kind of messed up his kickoff. <laughs> Maybe this guy is a night owl and he's been up since, you know, last night. So when I see him flop like that, he's trying to re redeem himself on the kickoff. So I just need to stay postured and uh, take my time with the kickoff. As long as I sit behind the ball, his his hit will always be weaker than mine since he's not moving as fast and he's not centered with the ball. So it's the best way to do that. I see him leading right, so I actually want to follow right there. Try to bump him a little bit. Something that just gives me the boost. Force him away for the ball. He'll probably stay with the ball here. Just stay close again. Should be a nuisance. Hopefully this boost spawns. There it is. I'm gonna go the other way since he's low. And then give myself some space with this touch here. Fake the far side shot. Go early since he's right on the ball again. Interesting. This is... Very close play here. He's gonna go early, which is fine. I'll just jump high on this. He's very low once again, so he has to stay near the ball. Oh, I might just be in. Yeah, so he was low that whole time. All I had to do was just play around him. I got that early touch off the backboard just to see if it would mess with him, which it did. And then it just kind of just softly falls into the net. It's a decent kickoff. Should leave me in these two pads, that path there. Look at the boost here. He doesn't have boost, so I can just keep pushing him. I think I'm just making him panic, taking his boost again. Probably really annoyed. And there it is. GG. Yeah, so I just had full possession there. Another oh, seven points. Not bad. So we're at 1495, or could be 696, like you guys saw before. It could be up, up or down, but not too bad. Pretty happy with that game. All right, so the uh, the leaderboard finally updated. We're actually in the top 25, finally. So we're at 1494 after those three wins. Uh, we're still pretty pretty far a ways away from the top. Uh, OSM's at 1659, so whew, like 150 points or so. Hopefully we can get there quite soon. I'm doing a lot of these games on Twitch, like I said, so I'll be streaming some of these games. Basically just making my way up the leaderboard as, as fast as I can. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>